Cześć, jestem Billy. A to jest... Pierwszy odcinek z Red of the Bloody Knights. No to co? New game, story mode. Hey, Henry. William, it's good to hear your voice again. How have you been? It's been a bit stressful, to be honest, but just busy with the new animatronic project. It's going really well, and um, I'm excited to finally open up my own restaurant. I see. Well, we've had a pretty good run with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so far. It's been doing really well. Yeah, I've heard. I'm actually a bit jealous, to be honest. I really want my place to be as successful, if not more successful, than Freddy's. I'm sure it will be, William. You've put a lot of work into this. Thanks. I really hope so. That's great to hear. I'm sure it'll be a success, but I wanted to talk with you about something important. Sure. What is it? I've been reading about some incidences at other restaurants where animatronics have been malfunctioning and causing harm to visitors. I want to make sure that our establishments are safe for everyone who comes through our doors. And especially yours, too. I understand your concerns. Rest assured, I'm being extremely careful with the programming and engineering of the animatronics. Safety is my top priority. I still want you to take your time with the project. Rushing things could lead to mistakes. I promise I won't rush anything. I want this restaurant to be just as perfect as you do. But I do need to move quickly if we're going to open in time. I know, but please keep safety in mind, above all else. I don't want any accidents or injuries to happen. I understand, Henry. You can trust me to handle everything properly. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all for now. Just keep me updated on the progress of the project, okay? Will do, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Mm -hmm. Super, czyli będę musiał zadbać o bezpieczeństwo restauracji. Bo jak pewnie nikt się nie spodziewa. To już? Hello there, I'm Waffle Brokey, the CEO of Fazbear Entertainment, and welcome to Fred Bear's Family Diner, the job of your dreams. Or so I hope. Because many things are currently happening, and I can't personally be present everywhere, I leave you these pre-recorded messages to cover any questions you may have and respond to any incidents that may occur during your night shift adventure. You might be asking yourself, Waffle, just how difficult is this job? What was in that phone book of a contract I just signed today? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to earn some money? That's right, dough. Moolah, greenbacks, all for just sitting and waiting in a well-protected room with a comfortable office chair and a cup of coffee. It's much better than sitting around and not being able to pay your bills, isn't it? And hey, we're not cheap here at Fazbear Entertainment. We'll pay you a cool 110 bucks per week, which I know is a lot, so just don't go and spend all of it on something frivolous, like you usually do. We value and take care of all our staff, and I want to inform you that our equipment here is very damn expensive. It's top-of-the-line stuff, and we've had our fair share of knuckleheads trying to break in at night. So you better keep those peepers peeled and glued to that monitor on your desk. Don't you dare smudge it up, or you'll be cleaning it with your own toothbrush. If anything happens to our property, then it is your responsibility. Your job here is very important, and if you can finish this week without any problems, you'll be rewarded with a voucher for some of our delicious pizzas. Trust me, it's worth it. All right, listen up, kid. My advice to you is simple. Don't go wandering around unless you have to. If you see something or someone trying to break in, then it's time to take action. But until then, just sit tight and don't touch anything you don't need to. If anything goes wrong, we'll know exactly who to blame. Just sit tight, keep your eyes peeled, and don't make me regret hiring you. I hope you don't want to be the one responsible for messing things up around here. Uh, all right, listen up. We need to talk about your safety, and we need to talk about it now. In front of you, you'll see a fancy video surveillance system that'll let you keep an eye on everything happening in this place. And when 
I say everything, I mean everything. No slacking off on the job, or you'll have me to answer to. Now, those mechanical doors on your left and right might look like something out of a sci-fi movie, but they're not toys. Don't get too close to them when pressing the button, or you'll be singing soprano for the next week. And trust me, I don't want to be paying for any medical bills. Speaking of which, do you have insurance? Because once you step foot in this place, you're on your own. If things go south, you're not getting a dime out of me. Oh, one more thing. If you notice your vision getting blurry or your eyes begin to water and burn, don't worry. That's just a side effect of working in this environment. But if it persists for a week, start worrying and go see your personal doctor. Remember, we're all in this together and safety comes first. The last thing I wanted to tell you was about the mascots we have here. I'm talking about the real stars of the show. Fred Bear, the singing bear, and his best friend, Spring Bonnie, the guitarist. These two have been entertaining children in this town for years, and now they're getting an upgrade. After we renovated the entire place, we added some great new features, including making them more interactive with our customers and staff during the day. But since we have so much to do and so little time, we decided to test some of the features during your night shift. So if you see them wandering around the pizzeria through the cameras, do yourself a favor and just let those handsome devils go about their business. Here's what you have to do. When those animatronics start lurking near your office, shut the door and keep them out. During the day, those guys will pop up in your office to say hello to the security guard like they're your best buds. It's all part of the entertainment, you know? Okay, kid, I gotta go handle my own business now. Yes. And <laughs> let's get this night shift started and hope for the best. And hey, if things get a little too intense, just remember, you could be working in a morgue instead. So have some fun, enjoy the ambience, and keep your hands off those animatronics. Most importantly, stay alert. We don't want any accidents happening on our watch, do we? Good luck, kid. You'll need it. See you tomorrow. No to super. Bardzo mnie pocieszył ten ziomek. Ja to widzę jeszcze. Już pierwszy wyszedł. Ale to pierwsza noc to nic się nie dzieje. Ale przerażające to wygląda jak on się rusza na tej kamerze. Jesus. I co, na razie pierwszej nocy nic się nie będzie działo? Ale na wszelki wypadek jeszcze posprawdzę. Czy się przeniósł? Nie. Mhm. Mm Więc to tak będziemy sobie stali. Dobrze, mi się nie śpieszy. Na mnie może sobie tam siedzieć cały czas. No i co? Stój sobie. Jeszcze dwie godziny mi zostały. Słyszałem śmiech. The fuck? O cholera. Gdzie on jest? Dobra, tu jest. A niech sobie stoi na razie. Może ten śmiech właśnie oznaczał, że się przeniósł. Widzę, że on dalej sobie tu się... 
Cholera. Nienawidzę tego, jak nie widzę go na kamerach. Czy on mi przyjdzie zaraz z tej strony? Ok. Pozwolę sobie już tu zamknąć. Nie mam pojęcia, że za wcześnie to zrobiłem czy nie, ale... Po prostu tu zamknę. Chociaż z drugiej strony tu widzę, że się nagrzewa coś, to może otworzę na razie. Spoko, nawet nie przyszedł. Zajebiście. Nic. Okej, okay, spoko. 